Hello, I'm Adrian Campbell. I run Planes TV. I started it 25 years ago uh, out of a hobby, really. Uh, I was made redundant, got a load of money, and my hobby was uh, photography and, uh, uh, and cine filming and video. And uh, so I set a business up to make promotional videos. Uh, but my other hobby was aviation, and uh, I filmed an air show and made some copies, and people loved it. And it's really grown from there. And today we film aeroplanes, uh, mostly air shows, and uh, the future uh, with internet television particularly is, is tremendous. Well, over the years, the, the business has grown, uh, but it's essentially grown as a family business. Um, my son coming out of university said, uh, Dad, have you got a job for me? And I said, well, only if we can make the cake bigger. And uh, this was, what, 10 years ago, 10, 11, 12 years ago. And he said, well, there's the internet. Uh, video on the internet is going to be a big thing one day. Uh, I can build you a website. We can start digitizing uh, uh, the material we shoot and people can start watching online and that's what's happened and wow has that has that brought us a new market uh, new viewers all around the world and so we've wrote more members of the family and my wife helps at air shows uh, in the summer uh, my daughter comes and helps as well uh, and we do now employ three four five extra people in the summer when we're recording it goes quiet in the winter uh, it just needs three or four of us to keep the uh, uh, the business running um, but we do have some pretty significant plans to expand our work in the winter uh, through uh, online television future for Plains TV um, its own TV channel. Uh, I'm on my own here now but uh, if we'd had the crew here we could have been broadcasting that live and the first Red Arrows uh, practice with, a, with nine aircraft in their 50th anniversary year I think we'd have quite a few million views. Well the best way to see how we've advanced is to look at the products behind us. Um, the ones starting 25 years ago were, were filmed on videotape, um, edited on tape to tape machines and obviously supplied as videos, uh, duplicated as videos. Uh, 1989, 1991, 92. Uh, 1992 we uh, went into full broadcast equipment, uh, new cameras, new editing gear, so the technical quality improved quite dramatically, uh, but still output of course on video. Um, getting towards 1998, 1999, uh, we're now using digital cameras for the first time, mixed with tape cameras, and uh, that's bringing us into computer editing, digital editing, and of course when we're into 2008, you're into high definition and Blu-ray, and boy, does that get difficult technically. Geographically, um, our products uh, have a huge range. Um, we clearly started with the UK. Um, having said that, we did a, a French air show uh, in our first year, um, our first trip to the United States was uh, 1996 and we made a documentary in 1997 where I flew the Atlantic in an old, uh, uh, an old World War II aircraft and uh, we had to do quite a bit of filming in the USA for that. Um, an awful lot in Europe by 1999, 2000 and of course the big one for us was just two years ago in Russia. We covered the 100th anniversary of the Russian Air Force with the best air show we've ever been to. It was absolutely extraordinary and we're getting requests now literally from all over the world to go and cover their air shows.